I might not gonna be able to talk about clown pussy until just chill. Just chill. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Chill the fuck out. Okay, let me finish my thought. And it brings you. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna be able to to finish my thought. So we're just gonna skip from clown pussy to Coach Red Pill. Coach Red Pill is dead apparently. Where is he? This better be true. I haven't I haven't looked at this yet. Tucker Carlson has announced that Coach Red Pill is dead. Let me see this. I'll re it. Should I, should I, um, should I leave a snarky comment? Should I say something like, how did women accomplish this? Or, no, no, no. We're being, we're being solemn bros. Tucker Carlson says, Gonzo Lira Sr. says his son has died at age 55 in a Ukrainian prison where he was being held for the crime of criticizing the Zelensky and Biden governments. Gonzo Lira was a American citizen, but the Biden administration clearly supported his imprisonment and torture. Several weeks ago, we spoke with his father who predicted his son would be killed. So I don't know. That's just Coach's dad saying that. I don't know if I actually believe that. Coach is far too powerful. Far too powerful and Kino to be killed by mere torture and imprisonment, chat. Don't give up hope. He may still be alive. He may be out there. You if you go to Kharkiv and you um say women are dogs, you might hear in the distance. Yeah. But only on only on a quiet night with the the gentle thundering of artillery munitions in the distance and a full moon. Women are dogs. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. Here, let's uh let's do a poll since every everyone seems to be anti women. Let's do it. Let's do a little polarino here. Let's do a little um, polarino. I ask, are women dogs? No, I'll do the poll. Is coach being dead a good thing? Vote one for yes. Vote two no and we'll see the votes don't don't vote if you're based that's that's the rules every time i'm waiting now for the results the poll is ready there's a delay a first first person to figure out how to vote has come in um okay finally people figured out how to vote. uh let's see I'll wait a little bit. We'll get up to about 100, but at 50 votes, uh, two-thirds of the majority say yes. It's a good thing that Coach is dead. Actually, let me feature this. Bill's father has, is claiming that his son has died in, in a Ukrainian prison. Cool. Okay, 110 participants in my poll. 58% say yeah, and 41% or 42% say no. It's not a good thing. I um I have my thing about coach is that he's not a good person. Um he gave really bad he, he was like a prototype for like the red pill guys. He was just like he gave really bad advice. He told young men to move to Rwanda to find black wives. He went to Ukraine and effectively bought a wife, and then he didn't do a good enough job and lost her, I guess, somehow in the matriarchal society of Ukraine. Um, it was just, he was just kind of a, a malicious dipshit. And I talked, I, I knew him personally. I've spoken on the phone with Coach for like hours. And he was very bad at giving advice he was very presumptuous he asked me to delete his kiwi farms thread and when i told him that i couldn't do that because it was a bad not, not, not only just from like a moral perspective of should i should i be censoring the kiwi farms to enrich my friends basically because he was trying to get a book deal and he was afraid of the site showing up in the the google results which goes to show you how long ago this was um but just not even from that perspective, but the fact that people would notice, people would notice that the the thread was being censored. Um, and I, I needed help renewing my visa. And 
um, once we had this conversation, he just like completely iced me out, even though he also lived in Ukraine. I lived in Odessa. He lived in Kharkiv. Um, so it was a little while we never actually met, but um, I reached out to him for help with the the visa and I offered him like a, a counter offer. I said I could um, remove the thread from Google results for a couple months for him to get his deal going if he would help me with my visa. And he said that number one, he wouldn't do that. Number two, the boat had sailed, even though he basically offered me an all or nothing deal um, about this, either take my thread down or we're not friends anymore. And then afterwards he tried to blackmail me and say, and, and tell people that I offered to help him um, for my visa deal as if, as if it was uh, some huge fucking betrayal. And it's like, what, a, what an absolute fucking asshole he was. Uh, just a real prick. Um, so I'm not going to miss him at all. I don't know. I, I never understood his appeal. Um, I guess he kind of uh, made himself out to be like a martyr for for uh, the pro, pro-Russia pro in the war and stuff. But I don't know. He doesn't seem like a hero to me. I think all, look, all I said is that because he was trying to work on a book deal, I said, I, I can remove it from results if that's what you're concerned about, um, which I don't feel is that bad of an offer because the site stays up. And right now we're completely de-indexed from Google, so it didn't make a fucking difference in either way. So the eDaddy, it's a, it's, a, it's a crisis of fatherlessness where people like Coach Red Pill can somehow seem like they have insight into anything to give. Like that was his thing. It was like he sold... In his insight into the world and into women and, and men and the re- dynamics of a relationship. And he was like an aged, unsuccessful old man who had been divorced like multiple times and didn't have custody of his children, even though he went to a foreign country with a weak judicial system to accomplish this and to, to basically buy a wife. It is the most like depressing kind of existence to live. And people still thought that he had cracked the code into women and life. Yeah. Crazy. Then he live he he live he live tweeted to the world that he was going to escape into Hungary through Ukraine. If you don't know, the Carpathian border between Hungary and, and Ukraine is like in the mountains. So there's like two roads that cross into the EU from Ukraine into, into Hungary. It's a very, very small border. So um, what a horrific retarded idea to announce before you've left that you're in line at, at the, um, on an account, you know, is being watched by the FSB or whatever. I forget what they call their, um, their, their FBI in Ukraine, but just, zero iq (laughs) sbu sorry uh yeah terrible thank you for watching this clip by colonel j this is the king of bold here remember to like and subscribe juice